Hey guys, it's a new playlist right here. It's Identity Systems and Brands and I'll be right back after the intro. Hey guys, my name is Shane Sapon and this is Brand Knowledge where we talk about business and branding just to help you level up in all your entrepreneurial endeavors. So today, what are we talking about? Today, we're talking about one of the most impactful brands of all time that's Nike Incorporated. Now, Nike boasts of the most iconic logo, logos of all time, which is the Nike Swoosh. As of 2021 this year, the company's net worth is about $35 billion. That's crazy. And the value of the total assets of the company is also $23.26 billion. Wow. So it was founded by Bill Bowman and Phil Knight on January 25th, 1964 as Blue Ribbon Sports. And then later, the name was changed to Nike Inc. on May 30th, 1971. So automatically, uh, it gives you a whole idea on who the attacking market is, the sports industry, the sports industry. So one may ask, where was the name uh, taken from? Or what inspired the name Nike or Nike? Well, um, Nike in Greek, it's a Greek word actually. Um, it was inspired by the Greek goddess of victory. Yeah, so that's where they took the name Nike from. Okay, so right now let's jump into the actual identity system of the Nike company. That's the Nike Swoosh. So legend has it that this iconic logo was created for $35 by this woman right here, Carolyn Davidson. Now, at the time, she was a graphic design student and Phil Knight was also an accounting professor at Portland State University. And so he taxed her on creating a logo for him since he had plans of, you know, making his own brand of athletic shoes. So interesting thing that happened was after the logo was designed for Phil Knight, he didn't love the logo at all. He hated it. But he went on to launch the athletic shoe brand anyway with the logo on the side of the sneakers. And fast forward, here we are, one of the most iconic brands of all time. Okay, so I would like to leave you with two quotes from Jaden Sapon. Now, Jaden Sapon states that um, a logo doesn't make the brand, but the brand makes the logo. This is profound. And he also goes on to state that good branding can make a bad logo look awesome and bad branding can make a good logo look bad. So on this note, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell button so you can be in sync with me anytime I drop a new video. So on that note, guys, I'm signing out. I'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you for watching. God bless.